How do you set up a Google Ads Performance Max campaign? In this video, I'm gonna be taking you through step-by-step -step over the shoulder, showing you exactly how to set up a Google Ads Performance Max campaign so that you can get the best possible return on ad spend and maximize your performance, as the name says. So let's go ahead and jump into my computer and let me show you exactly how to set this up. Okay, so here we are in the back end of the Google Ad accounts. Hopefully, you're familiar with the entire back end. Uh, I'm currently in expert view, so you'll wanna make sure to switch that over. And also, I am in the uh, previous view, so you can change the view right here so it looks like this, or you can change it back so it looks like this, right? So this is the new view right here like this. I still prefer the old view, so I have it like this. Uh, just something I wanted to note quickly. Now, uh, going ahead and creating our first Performance Max campaign, once we're at the back end of Google Ads like this, go ahead and click on New Campaign right here. So this is where we wanna select the goal of the campaign. So we have a couple of different options. If you're an e-commerce company and you're optimizing around online sales, now you're gonna to wanna to obviously select Sales, right? And you should have this set up as far as your conversion events for tracking sales and everything like that. If you don't know how to do that, I have some other videos covering this, but that's the objective that you'll wanna select. If you are a service-based business like an agency or maybe you're a local chiropractic clinic or a local business that relies on leads, then you wanna select leads in that case. And those are the two primary conversion actions that you're gonna be using in most cases. Uh, if you don't fall under each of those, you do have the option to select app promotion or maybe you wanna optimize around brand awareness, product or brand consideration or just general traffic or even local visits to your store. So since for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna be doing this for my digital advertising agency, I'm gonna be selecting uh, leads in this particular case. And you can see I already have the conversion event here of book appointments. And that's what I'm gonna be optimizing around is booking meetings with qualified prospects via my calendar. And I already set that conversion action up, so it's already there. So we can go ahead and click continue to the next step here. Now what we're gonna to wanna to select is obviously Performance Max, as that's the campaign that we're building here. And then you can just name this campaign. And I'm just gonna put our name of our company. So I'm just going to put Jetstream and then I'm going to go continue on. Awesome. Now once I've done this, what do we want to focus on? We want to focus on conversions. You can also focus on conversion value. So if you have multiple conversion events and one is more valuable than the other, but you want to maximize you know, all of the conversions. So you still want to get conversions of this type and this type, even though one is more valuable than the other, that's where you can do conversion value. So Google will essentially maximize around maximizing the conversion value based on the parameters that you set. In our case, I only have the one conversion event, which is meetings. So I'm just gonna maximize total conversions by just selecting conversions here. Uh, and then you can also select customer acquisition if you only want to bid on new customers. So this is great if you're an e-commerce company and you want to use Google Ads to only find you new customers. This is what you can do. You can select this right here. And if you have an existing customer list of a thousand customers or more, then you can upload that to Google and you can define this list. So essentially it doesn't remarket to any of those existing customers within that list that you define. And from there, you can go ahead and make sure that you're only bidding on new customers. So I'm not gonna select this in our case. I'm just gonna move on to the next step here, which is the campaign settings. So obviously your location settings. So for us, I'm just gonna do Canada and the United States. Awesome. Language is already set to English. You can automatically create assets here via your URL. I'm actually gonna turn both of these off because I don't want Google to automatically create assets based on URLs from our domain. I want to only use the homepage domain. We only really have one website and one page that we wanna be sending traffic to. So I don't want Google to be sending traffic to a bunch of random pages. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select that. However, if you don't care and you have a bunch of web pages that you do want Google to crawl and split test for you, then you can go ahead and enable this. Uh, and then you have your more settings here, which is your ad schedule. I'm just gonna do all day. If you do have store hours and you wanna set those, then you can do that Monday to Friday, for example, or Saturday to Sunday, whatever it would be. You can go ahead and set that schedule. Uh, again, for us, I'm not gonna do that. So you can select an end date if you want this to campaign to end. I'm not gonna select that for us. Uh, and then you can do all these other things you don't really need to worry about. So once you do all that, go ahead and click on next step. And this is where you're gonna go ahead and create your ad. So this is the fun part here. So this, I'm just gonna name uh, Jetstream, Jetstream Pmax Ad V1. So I'm just gonna go ahead and name it that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and first of all, add in my final URL. So for this, I'm just gonna add in my actual website right here, Jetstream Digital. I'm just gonna add in the homepage. That's all that I want the traffic to go to. Next, we have the option to add images and you can add up to 20 images. And I would recommend that you add the total maximum amount that Google allows you for all of these parameters to give it the most data possible and combinations of ads that it can maximize around using its AI to deliver you the best possible results. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and add in all of our assets right here. I've already uploaded a bunch, so I'm just gonna add this one, uh, this one, this one, this one. Let's see what else we have here. I'm just gonna shrink this down. This, 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 this. Okay, I'm just gonna resize some of these. One sec. We just have one more asset to add. Perfect, I'm just gonna go ahead and add that in and just save that. And now we have all of our images uploaded. So you can see here, we have a couple of different ones. We have book a free discovery call. We have some images without any text on them. Uh, it'll load some templates for us and some examples here. You can see we have some like e-commerce focused ones with just some products. So testing a lot of different things and just seeing what works and giving Google that flexibility to go ahead and test all these different things. Now uh, we upload our logos here so you can upload up to five logos. So I'm just gonna go to our asset library here. I'm gonna upload this, 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 this and this and boom that's our five logos added in so as you can see all those get cropped and properly added in there so that all looks good actually i don't know if i like that one all right i'm just gonna leave that for now i think that looks fine except for maybe this one i'm just gonna leave out so those are all of our logos now added in next thing is videos so this one is uh, highly recommended to add in some different videos to use on your google ads so you can get pretty creative with this i have a, a youtube that i'm going to actually upload my videos right from there so that i can promote my videos on youtube to my audience uh, we have case studies on there we have a lot of different things on there that are going to help to further educate and market to our remarket to our existing customers that are going through our funnel so that's where it becomes a really valuable sales asset for us so for you you can do the same thing adding in additional videos related to your product or service to help remarket to your customers or market to new customers in that case so i'm going to go ahead and select videos right here as you can see i already have them uploaded so i'm going to go ahead and select this one this one this one this one and this okay let's see if there's any other videos this is my youtube right here i'm just gonna see if there's any other videos that i want to add in or if that's good. Yeah, okay, I think that looks good. Okay, so I'm just gonna do these five videos right here. I'm gonna go ahead and save that. And now you can see we have those videos added in. And then we have our headlines, long headlines and descriptions to add in. So this is where we're adding in the copywriting. So I already prepared some copy right here in this document. So I'll go ahead and grab all of the headlines, long headlines and descriptions, and I'll add those into Performance Max now. I'll go ahead and speed through this and show you the end result. All right, awesome. So we added in all of the headlines, all of the long headlines and all of the descriptions now. And you can see what the ads are starting to look like now on Google search. This is what they're gonna look like. On YouTube here, we can see what some of the YouTube ads look like. On Gmail, you can see what some of these ads look like as well. Discover and display as well. So tons of different ads here tons of different options. And that's why this is so great is we can just really plug in all these different assets. And there's so much here that Google has to work with that it can create so many different ad combinations and distribute that across all of Google's network to create a really awesome cascading marketing effect. So the last thing now is we scroll down here, we can just add in our business name. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add in Jetstream Digital. And then we have our account site links, which I already have some created here. So that's totally fine. I'm just gonna leave all these account level site links active. We have our call to action here, which I'm just going to do as either learn now or book now. So I'm just gonna do book now because I wanna essentially get calls and get meetings booked, like I said. So that is the best call to action for me. So I'd recommend you select that for yourself. Uh, and then there's some ex other extensions right here. You have your promotion prices, call, structured snippet, leads, and then call out. And so for call outs, I already have some of those created as well. And so those are account level and that's also totally fine. Now, once we have created the asset group, we have to create the audience signal, which is the targeting. So I'm gonna go ahead and create this audience signal right now. As you can see, I already have one here uh, selected. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and recreate this. And so essentially we create a new audience and I'm just gonna go remarketing, remarketing Jetstream Digital. And so for the first one, we have our custom segment here, which is people based on their search activity, downloading apps or visiting sites. And so you can create this yourself. So you can go ahead and create a new segment and you can do people with any of these interest or purchase intentions. So you could add in, you know, different uh, interests, different searches. You can do different websites as well here. If you wanna add in competitor websites, you can do a ton of different things here. And so I'd recommend you actually go ahead and set this up for us. Uh, I'm actually not gonna do this. I just did simply our branded terms. So all I wanna do is just show ads to people that search for Jetstream Digital. Very, very simple. And I'm just gonna add that in. Next, we have your data. So this is people have interacted with your business. Again, you wanna add as much data in here as possible. If you already have customer lists, upload those. If you have your Google Analytics connected with your Google Ads, which hopefully you do, then you wanna do the maximum number of customers that have visited your website to remarket to as well, as well as your YouTube visitors. So for me, I wanna do YouTube visitors, website visitors, recently active users, um, all these different things. 
and that should be good. Then you can see we have website visitors here, which is fine. I'll do booked appointments and then I'll do YouTube users and I'll leave that there as well. And then we can do interest and detailed demographics as well. So if we wanted to do demographic targeting, we could target only men or women, only specific age ranges, and we could definitely do that. I'm just gonna target 25 to 65 plus for our age range. And then I am also going to go for marketing. So for example, business marketing. So if they're in market for biz business marketing, that is a great niche for us. And so that's where we're going to select this. And then there's some other options here like marketing, one-to-one -one marketing, digital marketing companies, right? So I'm going to select this. We have online marketing. We have advertising and marketing services as well. Awesome. And so I'm just going to do these three interests right here that are all in market. And then that's pretty much everything. This audience signal looks good to go. I'm going to go ahead and save this. And as you can see here, we have a remarketing Jetstream digital audience signal in here. And then we can go next. And that's going to bring us to the budget here, which I'm just going to set a really minimal budget here. I'm just going to go to $5 a day. So keeping this very, very small and very, very limited just so it reaches that small niche remarketing to audience that I already set up. And then if it can expand out and get more conversions at this budget, then we can do that. And then we could always go up to 42 or $91 a day, depending on the scale that we wanna have. So uh, I'd recommend if you have the budget to do the recommended, but you can totally start as low as $5 a day for whatever your business is. Now I'm just gonna do next. It's gonna ask you for a summary and just check if there's any errors. Awesome, looks like my ad is good to go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and publish this. And now you can see we have created a performance max campaign and it is all ready to go. Now it's gonna be reviewed for one to two days and then we'll start seeing impressions in about two or three or potentially even four or five days because there is some lag between uh, Google entering the auction with your ads. So just wait for that to ha actually happen. And then you can see your assets here and how they're performing. And then you can essentially come to here to monitor performance and it'll say the quality of your ad. And there's not as a whole lot that you can do as far as optimizations, but this is why this type of ad is so great for small businesses because everything is really automated. It's very hands-free and it's gonna maximize the performance based on the objectives that you set. So once you're over here, a couple different options you can look at. It's gonna give you some recommendations once the ad starts running on how you can improve your ad. So you wanna check in on this to monitor what the recommendations are. You can preview some insights here related to your ad and how things are going. And then you can look at your asset groups here as well. And let's say you want to spin up some new asset groups and test some new ads. You can create another asset group right here to improve upon your existing ads and continue to create new asset groups to outperform the existing asset groups that you have. So that's what I recommend doing. You can see your assets here as well, as far as all of your site links and callouts, extensions, et cetera. Once your ad starts running here, you'll be able to see your content and where it's showing. You'll also be able to see where your ad are showing as far as locations go. And you can break this down by state or by province. You can see what ad schedule that you're running on. And then you can go here to check out the settings. And that's pretty much everything. That is how to set up a performance max campaign from start to finish, step by step. So hopefully that was pretty simple, pretty straightforward and you followed along and were able to create your first ever, your own performance max campaign in Google ads. So there you go. That is the step-by-step -step tutorial on how to set up a Google ads performance max campaign. Now, hopefully you found it valuable. Hopefully you go ahead and set this campaign up for yourself and start to see maximum performance as the name says, and can profitably grow your business. Now, if you run a business above 25,000 per month and you want help setting this up or want help with overall advertising, digital marketing, and digital growth, for your business and are looking for a partner in your business to help you with all these different areas to help grow and scale. I'll leave some links down in the description where you can get in contact with myself and my team to discuss working with us further and see if we're a good fit to partner together. Also, if you like the video, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button as well, and leave me a comment letting me know what's your thought or let me know if you had any issues at all with, with the setup. All that stuff really does help me grow and I appreciate it a lot. Helps a small channel like me reach more people. So thank you so much for watching this video and sticking around till the end. Stay tuned for more content coming out around digital marketing and digital advertising and overall growing a business online. Until the next one, guys, thanks so much. Peace.